The Independent National Electoral Commission has declared the All Progressive Congress APC winner of the December 5 Okigwe senatorial by election. Announcing the result, the returning officer Hakim Adikum said that the APC polled a total of 36,811 votes, while PDP came second with 31,903 votes. Plus TV Africa, however, reports that the commission did not return a candidate from the party. Professor Francis Ezonu said that the commission was unable to return a candidate from the APC as winner. He explained that this is due to what he described as several court orders for and against the two major contenders, Frank Ibezim and Ifani Ararume. Joining us now is legal practitioner Abbas Ediong to talk about this latest development. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Quickly, uh, could you explain to Ross the implication of this um, result by INEC? No particular candidate has been identified as the winner from APC. I must confess this is a weird one. Um, it's uh, unprecedented because usually after elections have been conducted, um, uh, INEC usually declares one person uh, the winner of the election and then the certificate of return is handed to that person. But in the absence of a person being declared a winner, I, I sympathize with INEC actually because like uh, you have reported, INEC has been swamped by various lawsuits, you know, uh, for, for, the, um, uh, for both candidates of the APC and it's very difficult to distinguish at this point in time who is the, the lawful candidate who should be handed the certificate of return. Um, but going by my experience in the legal profession, I would say that um, INEC should have declared one person, because these are pre-election matters, should have declared one person a winner and the certificate of return should have been handed over to that person rather than having a situation where there's a complete, there's complete confusion. The, 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 the court orders, the court orders, the there are court orders, one restricting the other and affirming the other one party, and then the other one restricting the other and affirming that same person as candidate. So um, what options, uh, aside from declaring one person as the winner, does INEC have? Especially, I asked this question earlier of um, um, Mr. Evan Sufeli, who is also a legal practitioner, to get his perspective. And I'm putting it to you to get some more clarification. Um, two people, one person from PDP scored more votes then two people scored, scored a lot of votes, say 30, I, I don't have the figure off head now, say about 31,000 votes. And the APC candidates, two of them collectively got 39,000, about 39 or so. So which of them actually has the vote? Wouldn't it make sense for the PDP, who is a one candidate, to have the, uh, the consensus vote? Because how does this, I mean, how does this really play out? What is on the ballot paper? Okay. Um, I think you've, you've, you've answered the question because uh, you don't have candidate names on the ballot paper. You've just got political parties on, ballot, on the ballot paper. So political parties are the platforms which candidates either win or lose elections. So for the purpose of this particular election, you've got the APC as the political party who has canvassed and has attracted the highest number of votes in this election. The problem we have is that INEC is playing, uh, uh, is trying to play a, a safe card by not handing the certificate of return to a particular candidate. That in itself will set off another round of litigation because each of those candidates believe that they won that election for on, on the APC platform and they'll be going to court to, to retrieve their mandate, as it were. Where does that leave the people of uh, Imo North Senatorial District who are expecting to have somebody represent them at the National Assembly in the no distant time? Oh, well, the people of uh, Imo North will have a representative. Hopefully, these matters can be concluded uh, in time, because um, it's the, the certificate of return has to be handed to to, to a, a living person, and it has to be one of the the two. Um, the other, the Ibezim fellow, 
who the uh, Court of Appeal uh, uh, declared to be the candidate of the APC, I'm sure that that particular judgment will be uh, will be appealed right up to the Supreme Court. And if I Rarume as well, will who's who kind of judgment in this favor that will be appealed as well. But these are pre-elected matters. What I next should have done, in my opinion, was to have declared one of those candidates a winner and handed over the certificate of return to that candidate. And whatever happens subsequently can be dealt with one way or the other. All right, Barista Young, thank you very much for joining us on the news and sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.